All right, so a little bit of a rip. I told you just wait, wait and see the official patch notes. There is a small change. Most of it is literally correct. Every other thing is on the dot to the T correct. Only one thing was off, which I think maybe they changed afterwards um, when they saw the hype or it just, it wasn't in the cards. And the, I don't know, I don't know how they messed that one up. Everything else is 100% accurate except one segment. And the name was, I don't know. But today, like and subscribe helps out a ton. Let's jump into this. We have the official patch notes. They didn't tweet about this or anything. They just threw this in game for some reason. The game server will be offline for maintenance and updates on April 27th. That is the date of the release for this event. Keep in mind, the day before is Honkai. So again, I would recommend you, you know, focus on Nikkei, get everything ready, have fun with Honkai, and then 27th, jump in, have a blast with Dorothy, and just get best of luck, get like everything you're looking for. You got this. I wish all of you the best of luck. You got this. Pop off, pop off, do it. 10 out of 10, uh, max every character you need. You're going to pull Scarlet, Modernia, Litter, everyone you need, you're going to get, all right? Best of luck, but... During this time, you will not be able to log into the game as usual. Please know that this update is mandatory. You can download the latest update on Apple Store or App Store, um, Google Play, whatever. Make sure, whatever, whatever. We don't care about that. But seven-hour update as usual. So it's, again, it's a big update, seven hours. Small updates, like three hours. Uh, so that's there. Again, as mentioned, Sakura and D, so this is accurate, will be in the Ordinary Recruit Social Point and Molds. Make sure if you want them, save your summons right now. Wish this them as they drop and go and have a blast. So both will be added, huge W. Now, beyond this point, you'll kind of see what happened here, which does suck, but it's all, it says also note as the maintenance period overlaps with the time frame uh, for D's special recruit, Alice special recruit, license the kill and seven day event, players who participate in these events are advised to do so before this time. So make sure you finish it. Just keep that in mind before it does end. That's there. So basic stuff, we don't really care. Major updates. New character, SSR Dorothy. Dorothy inherit, uh, what is it? Inherits leader and Eden's angel. Uh, join the, uh, or joins the lineup. She is a support uh, Nikkei who uses her allies attack to effectively increase the overall damage. Her burst skill allows her to inflict brand on the enemy, which is broken by the way, accumulating the total damage dealt to enemies while brand is in effect. Again, very, very broken. Once brand disappears, the damage will be dealt to the enemy uh, targets according to the damage level accumulated in that brand. So it's a very strong attack and this will be very helpful. So again, she's a broken character, have fun, do what you want, you know, prepare, prepare, I'm trying to tell you that. But um, moving on, moreover, the cooldown time of the attacking skills will be fixed at two seconds within a, spe a specific duration. Uh, this allows the launching of massive attacks at the enemy uh, within short intervals. Dorothy has also special effects, such as reducing skill cooldown, which is very big, increasing damage to enemy parts, very big, and pierce, all the battle, or all of which are helpful in gaining an advantage on the battlefield. Class is supporter, that is her weapon, Ungrateful OZ, which is an AR. Manufacturer is Pilgrim, special recruit duration is 27th to May 18th. So that is how that's going to go. 27th to 18th, Still a three-week banner, so yeah, three weeks, which is also pretty damn good. You have plenty of time to pull this character. So again, I wish you the best of luck and hope everything goes well with that. Um, you're also able to recruit uh, once a day for free, which is, again, accurate. We did get that. This is the change, all right? So this is the change. You can use these as usual. We always use free, always use paid, always use advanced, but she is no longer a 2%. Again, we expected it. I, I said, like, why are they doing that? Um, and after seeing her kit... God, bro, this at a 2% is just, it's its too nuts. It was too good to be true, okay? Uh, hence why I told you, don't get hyped if that does change. It changed, okay? So I did say also in like my last videos, it, it might be a 2%, might make it even more lucrative to pull 1%, which does suck. It really does suck. Um, not a 100% a fan of that change, but again, it had to happen. There also is no chance to pull her on the Friendship Banner, which also was something that was listed in the last one. Again, both those things are changes, which again, it was also weird. You know, you can't pull a Pilgrim on the uh, Friendship Banner. Why was this one the special one? So it didn't make sense. It didn't make sense, right? But that's how it goes. So keep that in mind, still 200 multi, everything else is the same. Again, don't get mad over it. I know people are gonna like get furious. That was a leak. That was not a leak. That was a early thing that was not ready. We knew that there were things that were subject to change, right? Mainly, nothing else changed except those two things, but still, things were subject to change. Keep that in mind, okay? We have SSR Ray over here, an upperclassman who has a big heart despite her height, 
that's tough. Ray of School Circle joins the uh, lineup here. A defender Nikkei who burst, uh, bur bursts, damn it, boosts survivability through her decoy Naru. The absolute legend penguin. I believe that's what that is. Yeah, like Naru is a penguin. Okay, calm down. Not that I don't know what a penguin is. Uh, when the battle begins, she sets up a decoy, which is Naru, which is capable of holding out for long periods of time. Ray will then restore Naru's HP and enhance its survivability through instant restore and constant restore. Ray provides various buffs useful for survival, such as refilling all allies' burst gauge at regular intervals and, what is it, and drawing the enemy's attention with a track, because she's a defender. Steel Baby is her SMG, which is pretty cool. Tetra Line, how to obtain the character through the Overzone event. To find out how to obtain, please check out the details then when it drops. Ray will not be available in the Special Recruit, Ordinary Recruit, New Commander Special Recruit, um, Ordinary Recruit Tutorial, or anything. So this is your only chance to get Ray until they maybe rerun her or forever. So run, make sure you do everything properly, complete the Overzone event, do the login, because you may never get Ray again. Uh, Neve has not rerun yet. She's just lost the time. And I don't think she hit the other banner, so you can't get her again. But I, I believe that's the case. I could be wrong, so please fact check me there. But again, run and get Ray. So that's there. We have a new costume, Alice, sweet home, the day wear that Alice excitedly uh, put on for her trip to the Ark. It's adorable and comfortable, highlighting Alice's loveliness. Great. Alice, sweet home, can be obtained within the winter. Uh, what is it? The winter. No. The Wonderland Pass. Pretty basic stuff there. The one we care about. The Toxic Rabbit. Yes, Bunny Girl Viper. I can't wait to see what this looks like. They've literally been dodging. They've announced everything from this event. They have tweeted everything, but not the damn costume, bro. Bring the damn costume. Try to see what it looks like, bro. The Costume Viper wore to the special event of the, what is it, Super uh, Gaming Center Coin Rush under the identity of Bunny Girl. It brings out Viper's charms even more. Ah, charms. You see what they, they, they're, uh, they're self aware, boys. Viper, Toxic Rabbit, can be obtained with the May Mission Pass. You can check out the details when it drops. So keep that in mind. 20 bucks for both the skins. Keep that in mind also. 40 altogether if you're trying to get both. New events. The new event is going to be Overzone, as mentioned. April 27th is going to drop. And on May 18th, the Arc Guardian Operation, which has safeguarded and uh, what's it safeguarded and guided humanity towards their new home, came to a successful close. Only two months are left until the Ark is completely sealed. The Goddess Squad, Humanity's Beacon of Hope, and Goddess of Victory makes it their solemn duty to defend the Ark's entrance with unwavering res resolve. Players can enter the exclusive event for Overzone and join different activities, explore and win uh, big rewards such as gems, development materials, and surprising lost relics. Story 1 is going to kick off till this time. That's how that's going to go. Story 2, that time, May 4th, April 27th. That's how that's going to go. Part 3 is challenge stage, 27th to the 18th. Mini game, we're going to have White Memory. This is the Snow White uh, story. Snow White decides to explore the vicinity for her teammates, for survival, and to truly bid farewell to the past. It's going to be such a messed up story, I guarantee you. Fill up Snow White's search log in the minigame. White memory. Let your choices lead you to different storyline endings with oh, 21, not 31, 21 endings waiting for you. Really cool there. 14-day login. We know what that is. Outpost theme event. Come visit Outpost and check out the de uh, decorations and fireworks. I can't wait. I really do like festive stuff like that. So I'm going to just say it's great automatically. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a sucker for that. New gameplay, new chapters, 21 and 22. Giant whale flying up in the sky, 22 invasion. That should have happened earlier. Pretty basic stuff there. Entry requirements are to beat 20. Kind of common sense. Solar Red's going to kick off. I uh, Go for the rank of the uh, challenge difficulty to get gems. Pretty cool there. New lost sectors, 14, 15, EX04, and EX05. That is 2,000 somewhat gems for you, I believe, if the rewards stay the same, which is pretty good. Another Union Raid is going to kick off in four days, so make sure you are ready for that um, and you are in a, uh, a good enough Union to take part in that. New commodities, we have the Wonderland Pass, which is going to kick off also. The main mission pass, as mentioned. New package, uh, which is T9. What is this? Half anniversary pack that includes T9 manufacturer uh, equipment and step-up packages that include SSR guaranteed manufacturer mold selection box. Ooh. And uh, so is that... That, that might be good, but again, the percentage is going to kick in the back, so <laughs> realize that now. Optimization, stuff like that. And that's the patch notes. Overall, a very stacked thing. I do like that a ton. I'm just going to check real quick if we're... Uh, we did level up, which is crazy. Are we maxed out currently? Uh, how do I check if we're maxed? I don't think we are. Uh, 
yeah so we have one spot in this uh so that's the name of it rank uh rack and rear so yeah if you get that haha uh one spot left you want to join in join it so that's there that's the entire video hopefully you enjoyed it that's the patch notes a lot and a lot going down i hope you're ready for it this is going to be a super hyped update patch notes are out now you can go read them in game if you would like to uh but there is a lot to look forward to in this event yes it does suck a little bit of a rip there they did change the uh percentage there which sucks it sucks but we, we knew it was going to change. You know, it didn't make sense. Personally, I was saying like, oh, it's, that's them being way too generous, but it's all good. Don't get mad at them for that. That was information that dropped prior, which was taken away. So things were subject to change at any point, right? Peace out and joy. That's been for me. Thanks for watching. And yeah.